Hi, welcome to Narish IT. This is Kishore and we are going to continue static member functions of a class. In previous session, we have discussed uh, how to work with the static data members. Okay? In previous session, I have given how to work with static data members. Static data members are what? Class members and they can be shared by all the objects of that class. Okay? And now, I am going to give one more example first of all on static data members. Okay? Now, I am giving one more example on static data members. Watch it. Common header file and here class sample. Okay? One class I am going to start and here I am going to declare int some count. It is a data member. int count is the data member. In public area, I am going to start a constructor sample and constructor when it is executed when the object of this class is created. For example, it is the main and sample s1 comma s2 comma s3. Now, what happened? Three objects are created sample s1, s2, s3. Total how many objects are created? Three objects are created. That means, three times this member function is invoked, means constructor is invoked. When constructor is invoked, I am going to write like this, count plus plus. That means, when first object is created, first time the constructor is invoked and count value becomes what? 1. Okay? Count value becomes 1. Next, I want to print the count. See out, count object created. Okay. Now, close. Now, what happens? Count value is what? 1. One object created. Okay. Fine. Later, there is a destructor sample and when the destructor is working, when the program is going to close and it is going to remove the constructor. That is why here I am going to write like this. Count first of all, see out count object deleted. Now, the meaning is what? Here count, count value is what? 1. For example, here S1, S2, S3 no? means 3 objects created. When S1 object created, count value becomes 1. When S2 created, count value becomes 2. When S3 is created, count becomes 3. That means, how many times this value is incremented 3 times. That is why at last count value have to reach 3. And now watch this. When destructor is worked, first S3 object is deleted. That is why this constructor deleted and count value is what? 3. The answer is third object deleted and later count minus minus. Okay? Now, the answer count third object deleted and count value becomes 2. Next, when S2 is deleted, what happens? Count value 2. That is the answer second object deleted. When this one first object deleted. That is why your answer is what? First object created, second object created, third object created and next third object deleted, second object deleted and next first object deleted. But uh, here we are going to get the answer garbage values. Okay? In this example, we are going to get the value of garbage. Why? Because actually here int count is a local data member and it is not initialized. Suppose here initialization not allowed. Okay? We know that class data members are not initialized here. That is why here we are not going to initialize the value. Then suppose here we are going to initialize count with 0. Now what happens? Every object first value becomes 0. Why? Because here how many objects are created? 3 objects. Okay? It is the first object, it is the second object, it is the third object. Now S1, S2, S3 and each object is having what? Count. Count. Here also count. That means, total how many counts are created? 3 counts. Why? Because S1, S2, S3 are the objects of sample class. Object meaning is what? Object meaning is instance of the class. Object meaning is instance. Instance means what? Xerox or copy of the class. 
okay that's why whenever an object is created automatically okay the copies are created means all the class members also pass it to s1 due to this sample class member is which one count that's why s1 is having one count s2 is having another count s3 is having another count okay and now what happened sample it is what constructor okay it is the constructor and it is the destructor okay when first s1 object is created this constructor is invoked count value becomes and when this constructor is working s1 object is created and s1 object count value is what nothing okay that is why here what happened garbage next when s2 created this one garbage s3 garbage that is why suppose here you are going to provide count equal to 0 for example. Now what happens when s1 object created this count becomes 0 okay later plus plus that is why 1 next s2 object actually s2 is what another copy that is why s2 is having another count also no? now it is initialized with 0 next later it is initialized with 1 and s3 when s3 is created initialized with 0 and later 1 that is why your answer is like this 1 1 1 object created 1 1 1 object deleted uh, according to this example we are having 1 count or 3 counts 3 counts and here the change in first object does not affect on remaining objects ok that is why there is no relation is maintained in between the objects to avoid this problem declare count using static ok now count is what static data member and static data member rule is what it is having declaration part and definition it should be defined outside the class already declaration completed now defined int class name is what sample colon colon count now what happens here count is defined with the initial value 0 that is why here no 3 counts created see this here what happens when it is static what happens only one memory allocation now count is created and count value becomes what 0 now count value becomes 0 and where it is stored data segment next when first object is created this constructor is working now and actually static data member is what class data member not the object members static data member is not the object member it belongs to class that is why here class name is what sample that is why now count belongs to sample class but objects are what the instances of the classes that is why they can access this members now yes now when s1 is created this constructor is working now count becomes 1 ok first object created later s2 created no? now s2 is not having any count that is why once again this count is incremented means 2 when s3 created 3 that is why your answer is what first object created second object created third object created next now it is the destructor ok in destructor destruction process always from right to left that is why s3 first deleted means s3 object memory deleted that is why here already count is it 3 that is why third object deleted later count value 2 next s2 second object deleted count value becomes 1 first object deleted that is why your answer is what 1 2 3 objects created 3 to 1 objects deleted according to this example the main thing is how many counts are created only one it is the major important thing that is why whenever a data member is static whenever a data member is static it will become class member that means how many copies are created only one copy and it is automatically initialized with the 0 but the data member is accessed by all the objects that is why whenever you want to share one data member through all the objects of that class then go for static data members ok it is how to work with uh, 
स्टैटिक डेटा मेंबर्स ओके okay?